And courtesy. Right. Speaking of which, uh, Aidwald, you can give yourself a check to courtesy as well. Yeah, he goes <clears throat> over well riding with her as <clears throat> far as someone distraught from having her whole world shattered and then having <clears throat> her favorite pet die right before you arrived. Yeah. And be. Hmm. <clears throat> Very tragic and so, dark time. So at the end of the ride, he will uh, he'll gift her his um, hawk if that's possible. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. It's not going to obey her. She's going to need to retrain it from the start. Yeah, that's a nice fair thought. enough. But something to uh, you know focus her mind on and her energies towards. Sure, that's his idea. Yeah. He says, "My family has uh, a great history with hawking." It is one of our family traits. All of uh, my bloodline take it on. Perhaps uh, this hawk, who has served me well, will also serve you. She nods and is just like, I... Okay. I don't know if I can handle a hawk. It is a man's beast. But I will try to train it. And, like, she gets the hawk on her glove and the hawk's like, Ah! Hawk noises! <laughs> hmm. uh, yep. And he'll also ask her, if uh, my lady does not object, I would like to call upon you from time to time. I quite enjoyed our ride this day. I think she's probably like, aren't you busy trying to run the county? Hmm. Perhaps any meetings that we have should be carefully supervised and, and arranged by the countess. Hmm. So, so. Very well. But I have uh, spoken with the Countess and she has given me leave to meet with you. That is accurate, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. She has given me her blessing. She's just trying to friend zone you. Yeah, I figured. Uh, so he'll leave on that note. Alright. Excellent. Hmm. Let's do the next step of end of session stuff. Experience rolls. All right. Anything you got to check in, let's roll it out. Great gangster. Come on, failing time. This is the time we want to fail, not pass rolls, damn it. Yep, so you want to roll higher than the skills yes. you currently have. You're so honest, Marcus. Yeah. I bet the hospital. Hospital's what, merciful? I think that might be just it. Yeah. I just had intrigue this year. Yeah, hospitals merciful, gazebos flooding. Okay, got it. Sweet. I Does anyone else hear that in the, the background? I don't know who that's coming from. It sounds like a dog drinking water. But yeah. constantly. I don't hear it, but I'm muted, so I don't know. It might be my ceiling fan, but that's definitely not a dog drinking water. No one else hears Come on. it? Come on. Come I can on. hear it. Okay, good. I was just like, I hope I'm not freaking out. <clears throat> Sir Aidwald, I see you are most energetic, as is Sir Shasha. I think that Sir Shasha becoming more energetic is very appropriate, <laughs> given the fact that he's suddenly like, okay, I guess I'm going to do stuff. Well, I mean, I have to now that they're going to freaking kill any people if they don't change their beliefs. It's kind of like call to action. It's a call to action. Okay. Uh, that was a... That one was that, and then the roll is on that side. I mis put it down poorly, I think. So the dove coat is, uh, is a roll, right? To... Reader to uh, the people who have them. It's a roll, not a check. Yeah. Okay. I thought we had, I thought the dove coat was the one that gave you more money. Yeah, yeah, but it also gives you a annual check <laughs> oh, or what? Annual. Not as good as a check. A roll to see if you can crit to earn a check. Got it. Is it a crit? I thought you just had to succeed and then you get a second chance. Oh, is that how it works? I yeah, honestly didn't sure. check Book of the Manor too closely. Let me check. I, think I it might figured be the you B. guys would handle it yourself. Oh, no, it's, yeah. the B. it's the B thing. It gives you energetic. 
Mm. I know I have the Dovaco too, though. Uh, that doesn't give you anything. I'm looking at the, the investment table. Well, no. Love of family. Anyway. That's rough. Everyone done? I had literally one thing or two. Some people had a lot. Is anybody not done? I think Anash, you might be muted. Muted. Yeah, okay. Yep, there Sorry. You yeah, it's like, why is his mouth moving? All right, okay, guys. Uh, advance your character's ages one year. If you have a <laughs> significant other of note, advance them one year. And your squires and all of your kids and all that good stuff. Did anyone <laughs> or any of their characters reach 35, or did any squires reach the age of 21? Did not reach the age, but I have been. So, okay. Uh, now that you are thirty-five or higher, can you roll two d six? Got a ten. Okay, roll two d six again. You lose one point of nothing and one point of size. Oh, God damn! I keep on losing the size. Yeah, you just become a smaller man as you age. You've already peaked out at your prime. Down Sorry, to size man. twenty again. Man, you are old. I'm 39. How, how did he? Children. He started out old. How? Yeah. How? What age did you start out at? Old. 31, I think. <clears throat> Wait, I didn't. I thought you weren't even allowed to start out. Yeah, yeah. He it, he it wanted to start out at that age for, for like story it was reasons. It something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, nobody gets anything else at 35. No squires at 21. So we move ahead to the economics chart. Check your manners. All right. I need to roll 2d... I need to roll a d20 for starting weather, and then I add a d6 for raids. So... Uh, a 19, and then... It's a 22, so that's a critical failure. Alright, now you guys roll <coughs> your... Is, that, is critical failure good or bad for us? It's, uh, let's see here. Bad weather. It's bad. You, well, it's a critical success. So, yeah, it's bad. Super bad. Oh, you, did you crit success the weather? Damn you, Arthur. Because uh, you got it above yes. 20. Yes. Yeah, I got it above 20. <clears throat> because the raids. If I had rolled a 20 and then not had oh. anything to add to it, it would have been a crit failure. But it wasn't. It was a critical success. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, you're going to roll then. Where are you, my little... Alright, Corin. You live as a poor knight, so all your manners earn you half the normal amount. Uh, Aidwald, same deal. Half manners. Sasha, half manners. And Demarcus, half, half manners. manners. Alright. Yep. Some of you, I think, get to roll industry for your wives. <clears throat> although I think there's one person now. Mm. Right? So, Sasha, you roll industry for your wife to see if she earns you yeah. an extra. Um... Is anyone going to spend the extra amount to bring their main manor up to living as a such and such a knight? Yes. For instance, anyone who's a banneret has to live as a rich knight. Yeah, we all have to. Okay. I think we're all. I don't think I, how many knights were baronet? Three. You need to have think, four, right? four knights that are fifed. <clears throat> oh no, I'm not a banneret. I've only got three. Oh wow. Okay. Then you don't have to live as a rich knight. Um, for the rest of you, you're putting in the extra amount of money, so you would have to spend yep. nine a year, and you're only making three per manor. Yeah, I I have nine manors producing me money. Excellent. We also need to pay for the knight maintenance if we're taking income from those manors, right? No. Uh, if you are, have in five tonight, you manners. yeah. If you've invited <laughs> tonight, you don't get money yeah. from that manor. <clears throat> But they okay. don't get additional money from you if they're not. Ah, okay. 
So there's three manas that we got for knights. Those are for um, giving knights to live on, right? Yes. Okay, fine. All right. Yes. And they, they, they're they just kind of like under side. our name, but we don't get anything from them. Well, they ride at your side, and yeah. they and their families are beholden to you and defend you with their lives for 40 days a year. So good. I give actually one of my knights that. What's his, what was his name? And we get three, but we have to. We only have to pay three to live as a poor knight, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, all right. So everyone is still maintaining banneret level, other than Sir Marcus, right? Yep. Sir what Sasha, is the banneret level? You have to live as a rich knight in your main manor. And Wald is doing superlative to make sure his heir doesn't <laughs> die. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And Rich Knight is nine pounds? Nine pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next chapter. Mm. Um, your knights come around, and they're at, like all of your knights, anyone that you have in Fife, come around asking for this year's new suit of clothing. Normally, this would be done by Earl Robert, but the Countess Ellen has not done it. And they're, they're just like, Sir Knight, we are used to getting our new suit of clothing. Will you be providing that for us? Of By course leash. I would. Uh, uh, what is the uh, cost per... Uh, it is one pound per night. I will pay it. Plus you have to pay for your uh, own clothing. All right. <clears throat> Done. May I check the, uh, the manor earnings real quick? Sure. I'm not sure what you're asking. You get six a mana, usually. Yeah. I mean, the other stuff. I'm still oh, not the, sure what you're asking. <laughs> the rolls for the other stuff? Yeah, for investments. Yeah, okay. Alright, so Aidwald will pay for that. Okay. Alright. Uh, Sir Corin, are you providing suits for yourself and all of your your knights? Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess. New How clothing. much is it? It's one pound per knight, including yourself. Sure. So that's a six minus six, seven minus seven, so what pounds left? And oh yeah, I've got three A Peters and three B things. Okay. Now I have a question for each of you. Uh, hmm. All of you are providing suits for your knights, yes? No one's holding back yes. on that? Okay. Yeah. It puts Sasha under zero, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm. is, it, is it possible for Sasha to buy him for all of his knights but not himself? Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, what will do so in colors time are you providing for the, the clothing? Since instead of wearing, like, well, you can provide them with good suits... But you can also tailor them to your personal style. For instance, Old Roderick didn't care that much. But, for instance, in Silchester, everybody wears something with the black on it. Because uh, the steward of Levkamagus is the Black Knight and insists that everyone wear at least some part of clothing with black on it. So are any of you flashing gang colors for your knight manners? Aidwald is going to have a part of a an insignia of a red cross in some of the clothing. <laughs> As will, uh, yeah, I think the red cloth cross sounds good. So would uh, Marcus like to do that? Yeah. Can you? Are you're both using the same insignia? You don't think that's going to get confusing? <laughs> oh, it's, it's that's the. Um, I thought the Knights of the, the red, cross, red Cross. Yeah. yeah. Of which neither of you are members, actually. <laughs> Aren't we? No. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was. They. Yeah. Uh, they intentionally yeah. split away when. Uh, Aurelius died. Like, you gave them enough money to start a trust fund. And so while they live on your land, they have tried to live on their own. Now, did you take the Knights of the Red Cross as your actual knights? I think that's what Aidwad did, right? Yes. So you're not a member of them, but they owe their loyalty to you. You could, for instance, order them to accept you, but they haven't asked you. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
For one yeah. thing, you're not a surgeon. Well, there will be some general Christian symbol on there. Okay. Yeah, there will you, be can, a cross you can put a red cross. That's fine. You're basically yeah. saying, like, I own these people. <laughs> wow. Marcus, what are you doing? Because not only are you not a knight of the red cross, but you have absolutely no affiliation with them. Oh, except through, yeah, through Robert, though, right? Robert was a member of the Knights of the Red Cross. Uh, I don't think he was. Yeah, he did. He joined... Uh, when Robert he converted was. Christianity, he joined uh, Aurelius. Aurelius accepted uh, him, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're putting a Red Cross symbol on. All right. Yeah. Um, he's going to add something, just his symbol, I guess, as well. Also, so, um, maybe like a snake part. entwined around the Red Cross. No, that's kind of weird. But uh, really, you, actually have the you think the the that's the the staff with the snakes, the codicus? I know, I know, I know. Yes, I know. okay, but, it, but he's but it's actually also doing... a snake, and that's not a great thing for a Christian order. Yeah, I what he's gonna have is uh, it's it's, it's going to be a red cross, but it'll be like sort of like a scroll with a red cross on it. Okay, that's what he'll have. All right. Yeah. Um, also, Arthur. Yep. Um. I'd like to uh, hire some men-at-arms. When in the winter phase should that happen? Now. So you uh -huh. let me know how much while I, how many you want while I check with everyone else what's going on. Uh, Corin, your insignia is a burning sword. Yes. Okay. Aggressively Christian. So it, it's like a sword hilt in the shape of a cross. Yeah. It's, what is yeah. the what is the symbol of paganism? The symbol of <laughs> that's an interesting question. There are many symbols in paganism. There are so many gods in paganism. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess the the one that I, I literally typed in symbol of paganism, and the one that showed up was the uh, star. Yeah, the star. I would the pentacle. And isn't paganism like a general term? It can't like it like even if it goes to Greek mythology. Uh, Maybe you could have a sickle for know. kind of the druids. I want to have a. That sounds good. I think a, maybe because a sickle. Because that's and, less a sickle that demon worship. A sickle associated. and a cross together. A pentacle is not demon worship. You gotta f flip it, shift it, and reverse it in order for it to become a pentagram. I do like the I do like the the uh, the sickle the star worshiping with the a druids cross that center. brought worshiping the druids that brought our kingdom to its knees. Did you say you wanted to use a sickle with a cross, like in the crook? A uh, cross beside it. Sickle and cross. Not a sickle, uh, the pentacle thing. Yeah, in inside of a pentacle. No, because that looks like they're kind of um, oh, man. putting it up. I'm it's got to be beside I'm it. I'm trying to figure out if it you're just like, has to be on the same suit. Are you the first communist in history? Hmm. Sickle and cross. <laughs> oh, man. Just chop off one the top half of the yeah. cross. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's... So, like, in our distant future of this campaign... There's, like, all these Illuminati conspiracy theorists who are like, Yes, communism began all the way back in 496 AD when Sir Sasha formed the secret Illuminati Council of Communists. They're full of pagans! <laughs> oh, man. Is the stone gro uh, great hall also sort of like a defensible structure? Uh, probably not. It has, like, a DV value then and yes. stuff, so I don't yeah. know. DV is literally defensive value, so yeah. Yes. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Alright, so, Arthur, you saw the uh, men-at-arms? Uh, five sergeants and five archers. Interesting, yeah. So, after your lands get raided, you buy some mercenaries. There are a lot of them. There's a lot of peasants who... Well, they're not necessarily... They're not mercenaries, because it's... We're not on the mercenary chart. Oh, you're like actually funding this from your own stuff then? Yeah. So Yeah, okay, so yeah. You 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 get some dudes, some trained dudes. I'm sure there's plenty left over from, you know, like when the the Earl died. 
there's probably a lot of veterans around, and some of them come asking at your manor, like, Would you please employ me, my lord? And you're like, okay, sure. My shit got raided. Grab a bow. Go out back. Stand on top of my castle and shoot Saxons. Does that sound about right? Pretty much. Also, <laughs> because he's realizing that there's going to be the possibility of Saxons coming and trying to sack the castle and such forth, um, he's going to hire an engineer. Oh, cool. Excellent. Like a siege engineer? Yeah. All right. And um, you know you what? I'll tell you what. You guys can start taking the siege skill now, now that we're in anarchy. We might as well just go ahead and do that. Okay. And okay. if you can, at some point, explain how one purchases siege equipment and it's effect. part of sieging. All right. Or do you want to buy siege equipment for offensive purposes? Uh, he may. He hasn't decided yet. Well, you know what? Well, I'll look it up during the break. Uh, yeah, definitely. But I also sent you the whole article on on siege right. Rules. I read that, but there didn't okay. seem to be an anything talking about what how much I think you had you, to spend you probably don't each buy account. it right like siege equipment has traditionally you build it on site okay like you they literally if you've ever played any total war game whenever you're at some place it's never like oh you have catapults it's more like oh you build catapults when you get here right because otherwise I you're moving at the speed of a large round wooden wheel yeah, the thing about that was, though, that it was talking about he had this amount of value of siege equipment, and I had no idea how you purchase, get a certain amount. Yeah, okay, I'll ch I'll look it up, and if I can't find it, we'll make something up. All right. <laughs> you want to invent the trebuchet and then use it in defense with your crossbows from Italy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought what's the cost of a castle? <laughs> like to build a castle or whatever. What, what size? Which one do you want? Do you want reinforced or regular? Regular is twenty. A regular Mott and Bailey is twenty-five pounds. A okay, reinforced that is, made of wood? is ninety-five. Yeah. Wow. I, okay, so I if I if I built a manor with a mo uh, with a moat, I think there was something where you can a ditch and rampart. Yeah. By digging a. Yeah, I can do a ditch and rampart. I think. With a moat. Sounds about right. And with a stone, if I build a stone manor, I think that um, should give me some value. Wow, that seems completely heretical. What part? The, just oh, Karama's the, image. Oh. Everything is heretical when you have three fanatics. <laughs> What's the difference between a tower and a stone manor? They seem very... Uh, so simple. a tower is literally a tower, and a stone manor yeah. is like um, Downton Abbey. Okay. Because they both seem... To, anyway, they both have defensive values. And, okay, yeah. anyway. You can, you can attach those things together. So you can like have a stone manor with a tower on it. Yeah, that's basically the what would be like a castle, I guess, kind of, right? Yeah, but... It's slightly different, and the uh, siege to take them proceeds in What's a different manner. Ah, okay. What's the defensive value of a castle? The the reinforced one, the Martin Bailey. That should be in the core rule book. Yeah, I'm looking for that. Okay. All right. Anyone have anything else before we move to the next session? Section. I'm just deciding what to construct. All right. Exactly. Oh, um, if we're doing spending, then I'll buy some things, but I'll just. Okay. Do Remember that. that everything you buy up to 100 pounds also gets you one glory for every mm. pound you spend. Uh, does anyone own a unique horse? I think mm. they're all dead now, right? Yeah, there was just one once. Okay. Uh, does anyone want to marry or attend court in order to seek marriage? Um, I'll attend court. Okay, um, for what purpose? Do you have a lady below your class you wish to marry? Do you seek to marry someone within your class, or are you just going to make a courtesy roll to, like, put in the good word with the countess? Doesn't look like I'm 
anywhere close with uh, the Lady Elwha, so I guess I'll just bank a courtesy roll. Okay. Yeah, as will uh, Robert. We'll let them bank yeah, so you guys all, all visit her at the same time, and the Countess is like, it is dark times indeed. I, perhaps, my knights, we should have paid the tribute that Aesquine asked of us. Mm. And then you present yourselves for courtesy, Sir Marcus and Sir Aidwald. You guys are good. Sir Corin, you critically fail. Let me ask, how how do you present yourself so badly? Ugh, I probably like trip and just like spill an entire plate of food all over her. Okay. <laughs> yes. So she's just like cleaning herself off. All of the ladies are scandalized. They're like, oh my goodness, what a clumsy oaf. Sir Corin is nothing like Sir Trumpiert. He was so dexterous and brave and manly. And that guy who died like 10 years ago. Trump here? Died like last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah two years ago. That, that sermon. No, no, never mind. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, I'm getting so reversed. freaking confused. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, so they're like removing a chicken from the front of her dress, which is now stained. And she's like, it's fine. It's fine. Um... And like in the process, she's like, "Oh my goodness, Robert, always Roderick always handled sending out the year's clothing to all the knights. I'll have to remember to do that this year." My apologies, knights. I'm sure you had to purchase some for your own followers. And then she like goes to the window while the ladies are literally like picking chicken off the front of her, and she's trying to look really commanding with her hands behind her. And she says, "Sir Edward, come stand with me." Yes, my lady. Look at those walls outside this castle. Are they not beautiful? I will go and stare at them and then... Yes, they are a testament to the strength of our land and our people. I hope they can. She gestures to one of the gates, which has the name of Aidwald's father and the keystone above it, and says, You have strengthened our walls with your donation, and so I have given your father his place as a good knight among our people. And then she gestures to uh, like the edge of the city on a map. And on the map, it contains the names of Sasha, Marcus, and Corin's fathers on three of the four gates into the Vagon, like, Vagon Castle. Mm. And she's mm. like, yes, uh, due to your donations, we are now almost halfway finished with construction of the new walls around the city. And so I have named a gate after each of your fathers. I thank you all for what you have done. I would like to ask, though, that in the future, perhaps we should put some of that money towards tribute with the Saxons. The raids were devastating. I understand that almost every knight in Salisbury suffered a great financial setback at the end of the year when money is most precious. Would you say that this is true, knights? Sadly, yes, I my must lady. admit that is true, my lady. Though, my lady, I find that uh, knights would rather rally to such dismay by with the sword rather than uh, with the sack of coins. We have been thinking, and perhaps we may take some steps to better protect ourselves from these raids. She says, what, what, perhaps we should speak of this in the spring. Very well, my lady. We you should attend to your wives it. and children now. <laughs> it is the winter, and I'm sure the Saxons will almost certainly not strike again. All right, time for those rolls then. Yeah, so anyone that has a kid needs to roll a d20. Uh, uh, only or, one is bad, right? Because of Rich Knight? Yes. That is. Uh, and I don't have to roll. <laughs> no, no, we start with childbirth before you get crazy, oh. guys. Gotta start with oh, childbirth. No. I don't have anything. A 14 means you got a child born there, Sir Marcus. No, that's. Oh, you're rolling for your kids? Either. Okay, yeah, so let's yeah. go with the per. Wait, does anyone want to hire any kept women? And again, this is code word for ladies of fortune or courtesans or whores. We, we understand. Yeah, I'm just making sure the audience understands. <laughs> Is anyone hiring such a thing in order to have bastards? No. <laughs> no. Okay. 
Um, Sir Sasha, you were rolling.